And I was just counting. There's an approximate eight second lag right now. Eight seconds. Yeah, eight second lag. But hello, everyone. We actually do have eight people in the house. They just have to say hello to everybody. Hello. So, so the big question is, I absolutely love that intro, Laura. Great job. I think you did amazing. I got to figure out how to do one of those for my channel. <laughs> Well, I will. Uh, I'm going to make one just for our auction too. I that's that's awesome. We have Carol's Chaos in the house. Hello, Carol. Carol. Uh, my yeah. granddaughter. Maybe she's going to spend some time with me and help me learn how to uh, get get in this and and uh, and also do the videos because I haven't been able to do it. Oh, we'll All get right. to this. We'll I get you out, Marion. I got to learn it. It's one of my projects on the bucket list. Welcome well, to the show, Horizon. Hi, Carol. And Art. Hello, Art. And Art's in the house as well. Art, right, you changed your name. Good evening. See, now he does reviews. Lindsay, hello. What are you reviewing, Art? Just records. Hello, Lindsay. <laughs> okay, guys. So I don't know if any of you got to see the intro that I did, but awesome. I think it looks great. And yeah. I, for one, am very random tonight. So you never know what I'm going to pull up here. Marion, what do you have? Oh, I've got. Some Olympic stuff from the, I think it's 1988. Let's look at the date. Cool. Uh, some from uh, 1992. Uh, Olympic. Some some autograph. I got Charles Barkley autograph. Nice. Card. I have I don't know just some little co collectible kind of cards. I've got. All kinds of jewelry, like earrings, bracelets, necklaces, rings. You nice. I got some doll furniture. So I have a pretty variety. I have if there's something you want special, let me know and I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> Melody, what do you have? I have a little mismatch of everything. I have some collectible Barbie dolls. I have some clown figurines. I have some vintage stuff some old cookbooks. So I've got like random things here and there as well. It's going to be an interesting show. Nothing very specific. So I'm going to just bring and out. If you guys are looking for something, let us know. Because then maybe one of us have it. Yes. And I always do a personal challenge for myself that if I, if you state something, I want to see, oh, do I actually have it? Because I probably do have it somewhere or something comparable. Hi, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Carolina lady. She's at, at Hemlock's now. Oh, is she? Yeah, she's visiting Hemlock. Oh, that is so funny. Oh, yeah, we heard she was on the car. They've been friends for years. That's nice when you can actually meet people that you meet from online and actually get together and meet face to face and... I think I originally did. When I used to have my store, we had an association. We always got together once a year. It was yeah. fun meeting yeah. different retail shop owners, conventions. And yeah, our some, some day I got to go up north to you and visit both of you. Take yeah. a road trip. <laughs> road trip. Road trip. <laughs> Oh, oh, we, I think we're ready. We have 11 people in the house. Mar yeah. I think, unless you're going first, Laura or Marion, Marian, go for it. You want to go? Okay. Marion, you're up then. Let's There's do this. Okay. Okay, I'll start with um, this pack of 1992 JCPenney. U.S. Olympic Pin Collection Set. It comes in the little box, and it's wrapped up. I guess I could open it, and it's, you could get a little clearer look at the pins. 
The starting bid is five dollars, and uh, let's see. How do those look? Go up Can a little. Up. Yep, they, a little more. Are they clear? Yeah. Are they having yep. the right side up? There you go. So right. all Olympic pins. Yeah. Yeah. They come in a little plastic box and in the original box. Hello, Love Hollis. Hi, Love. Thanks for coming. Okay. So this is um wait. any interest? Anybody want to see it more? I'd be happy to show it more. The Olympic pins, 1992, starting bid five dollars. Starting bid five dollars. Do we have any interest on the Olympic pins? I'm this nice box. Uh, You got their YouTube open? Any questions? Thanks, about that? Yeah, I know I sound better, right? I have half of a voice. You sound much better. Okay. Okay, the second hey, item I'm yes. selling it. Okay, this jewelry I'm putting up tonight is all new jewelry. Number one. It's really pretty. I got two. Melody, are you hearing feedback? No, I'm not. I'm hearing oh, feedback. All right, let me lower my volume a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. I have a very powerful mic, so it picks up feedback sometimes. Yeah, I don't hear it now. Okay, I had to lower the mic. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Five are bangle bracelets and one... Uh, what do you call it? Like a lynx. Can you see it? Yeah, it's pretty. They're pretty. So starting bid is five dollars for these five bracelets. Five dollars for all five. They're really beautiful and, and they're really a bargain. Yeah, that's yep. really pretty. That I is a great lot, deal. Lot yeah. of jewelry. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's a good resale pretty. lot. This one has Harold, do you still hear the echo? Over. Or is it better now? I think it's... I'm hearing... I'm not hearing it anymore. Okay. Like Any I said, it probably, it probably work was me. <laughs> if I wore gold. Yeah, these are... I think these are all gold color. Anyway, these have got some little stones in it, so... If you mind, let me know. Thanks, Lindsay. Much better, she says. Okay, let's see. What should I sell now? I have a small lot of little trinket boxes. This one is an egg. If I could open it, I would do good, but I can't open it. This is the way you open it. I think it's bent. Anyway, it's on three legs. This, I got really one cute. of these. It's cute. And I have some small ones here. I had them laid out the other day. Here's the, uh, these are the shoes on here. And, and this is. Mary, so can you just show the bottoms of them? Because so yeah. what makers aren't. I don't see any. Uh, yeah, there's something on there. Okay, thank you. It's uh, form formal lilies. And then this one says uh, something else has a name on it. So these two, $5 starting a bid. PHB is that one. There's something underneath. Uh, Marion, Carol. Yeah. Carol said she would take the gold lot for five. The bracelets? Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. I'm going to get a, a baggie to put them in. Thank you. 
Okay, Carol's Chaos, right? Yeah. I think I sent her something. This Carol, Carol yeah, Thomas. Carol Thomas. Yeah, Carol right. Thomas. I mean, I sent her something. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to find my papers. <laughs> Any interest in the um, little trinket boxes? $5. It's this. And then this has the shoes on it. <laughs> They're cute. Those are cute. Two for five. Okay. That's my three. Okay. Melody? Anybody yeah. want? Let me know. Yeah, just put me in for five for the eggs. Oh, for the trinket boxes. Okay. I'll put you in. Thank you. Okay. okay. And um, Lindsay, shipping works is we send you an invoice at the end of it. If you do multiple shows, we could do combined. But generally, whoever you purchase from, just send them an email and they'll send you a, a PayPal invoice. Okay. So the first thing I have is I have a collectible Barbie doll. It is the Civil War Nurse Barbie from the American Stories Collection. It is brand new in the box. The box has it's pretty good condition. There's one little, if you look at the box, I mean, it's just a little wear and an age. Oops. I'm crunching it. I shouldn't be crunching it. There it is. But it's in great condition. I'm doing starting bid on this $12 for the Civil War Nurse Barbie doll. I've never seen that. I've never seen it either, but it turns out they, they have it. <laughs> it probably will be a collectible since it's a Civil War, uh, War one. Item number one, Civil War Nurse Barbie, and we're starting bid $12. I have like, like I said, I have a mishmash of collectibles, some things, and the box seems the doll is obviously brand new. It comes with a little uh, nurse bag and then a book that you can read, and it's part of the Civil War American Stories collection. But if there's no interest, I could pass to the next item. But somebody might like a barb at all. You did send me something. I received it. Hello, Cajun Roots reseller. Welcome to the show. Hey, Jody. Thank you so much for coming. And any interest in Civil War Nurse Barbie, or are we going to retire her back to the countryside? Back to the Civil War? <laughs> back to the Civil <laughs> War. In the land of cotton. <laughs> no problem. I got a lot of mixed stuff today. Okay, the next one I have is, this is going to be in item two, is an iPad holder. I'm going to start this off at $5. It is a brand new spec iPad Air holder. It's for 10.5 iPad, iPad Pro. And it's, uh, what is it? It's four feet drop tested. It's from the company Spark. It's a holder that actually holds it up so it stays in place. It's a typing stand, adjustable viewing angles, um, auto sleep wake. I have no idea what that means. But um, it's a balanced folio. For your iPad, and it's uh, suggested for the iPad Air 2019 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Any interest in, and it's black too, so it's a nice color. Goes with everything. Any interest in the iPad for $5? It's just the cover, it's not the uh, iPad itself, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> iPad included. No. <laughs> no, iPad is not included. <laughs> And it is from the real spec company, and it's one year warranty. If there's no interest, I will simply go to the next item. Next item up for bid, uh, just in time for Easter. I have a mermaid chickadee. Look at this. It's one of those mermaid gems where you go one way, oh. it has one color. Yep. Uh oh. Selling the little chickadee for two dollars. Nice little starting bid for people who have no patience and just keep going up and down because it's a texture thing and people like doing this. So we're doing item number two, mermaid chicky. And we're starting bid is two dollars. Any interested in that Eastery mermaid chickadee? And it'll come just in time for Easter. Great for those baskets. That would be cute in a basket. 
It's a cute one. Yes, I know a lot of people who have a like um a, a lot of my friends have attention, and every time I have a mermaid thing, that's all they do is just back and forth with the. So they say it's very therapeutic. I don't see how it's therapeutic, but I guess if you have a texture, if they get what yeah, they if you like touching things. Meantime, as, as I'm touching this all along. <laughs> he looks like a happy chickadee. I know. He has a nice little smile. Nice little. But if anybody's interested in the mermaid chickadee, selling him for $2. And like I said, perfect for Easter. But if not, we will go to you, Laura. Oh, this could be bad. Uh-oh. Why is this going to be bad? Well, because, you? you know, I'm random tonight. So who knows? What are you showing? We love this That's a good question. <laughs> Let's start with this. This is the daughter that the tins usually are. But this oh, is one of their trays. There's your back. I can't see my camera, so hopefully. There we are. I tell you, I have a soft spot for the tins. Anytime I see those tins at a garage sale, I grab them. Exactly, but I've never seen the trays. I've never seen the trays, but the tins, definitely, that's something for anybody out there. If you see the dog hair tins, grab them. Yes, they go very well. This one we're going to do for $3 for the dog hair tray. For use and wall decoration. Look, it even says place hanger here. But it also says for use. See, I would I would make that as like a nice uh, serving platter. Yeah, it's, like, it's yeah, really that'd pretty. Be, that'd be beautiful for like a center piece of the table and put little well, orders on it. I got it from. Mm -hmm. He is. Um, he does a lot of theater work, you know, like local theater. And right. they use these on stage because from a distance, they look like porcelain. Oh, cool. Of course, they're not heavy, and they won't break if they get dropped or whatever. So he buys a lot of the Daher stuff because of the, because uh, it does look like porcelain. I guess okay. the shining with the lights and everything. Right. Like so, yeah, I thought it was interesting that that's what they used it for. Oh, I didn't even put the price. I'm sorry. How much were you selling that for? Three. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I think it's very pretty. If somebody's interested, let me know. Oh, Carol Chaos is in at $3. Well, okay. Do we have any further? Any other bids besides three dollars? On the dollar. Hey, Scooter, you have a voice. I do <laughs> have half of a voice right now. Yes, she has her voice. Well, we have the tray going to Carol's Chaos. Any other bidders? If not, we'll start calling it. Going oh, once. Going twice. The last call for the tray. And we are sold to Carol's Chaos for three dollars. Congratulations! Okay, you got it. Okay, the next thing that I have is this purse. It is brand new. Here's the original price tag on it: thirty bucks. This is a. It's a neat brand. What is it? I can never remember what this is. This is brand new. There we are. It does have the long strap. The inside. This section has cards, slots. It's really soft leather. I'm assuming it's leather because it's very, very soft. It doesn't say though. I'm trying to find if there's a name in it. Looks like a TT logo. I, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember what that is. And of course, this 
thing does not have a name on it. But this section has a zipper. There's a zipper on the back. Um, then it's actually three sections. The middle is where the card slots are. It is a tardy birch. There we go. Yeah. I can look that up because I had no idea. Thank you, because I couldn't remember. And then That's a high end. It has a slip pocket. Actually, two okay. slip pockets. But it's super soft, really, really nice. Like I said, it does have the handle. And we're going to do this at uh, 15, half of what the original price was. The back pocket still has those silica gel things in it. I think it's a nice, I, I wouldn't consider this super small, but medium, maybe. Well, they're saying, does, there, does the label say anything about Tory Burch or genuine leather? It does not say genuine leather anywhere. Okay, so it might be a, uh, what do they say? Like, what do they call it? Like a vegan leather or something? Which is the man-made stuff? I don't know. But it is, like, super soft and buttery. And fugazi. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know enough about her line to know whether she does leather or not. But it is. Yeah, I think she does leather. I think it's high-end. Yeah, this, it is a high-end brand. Yes, Horizon, it has this shoulder strap still all wrapped up. And like I said, it's brand new. It's never, ever been used. And I do know that she is a high-end brand. They have a store in our mall. It's but, just unknown whether this is a replica or a real thing. That's the question. Well, yeah, and I will say that given where I got it from, I would think that it would be real. Um, but I don't know how to tell. Because the, the only logo is this right here. Does it have a shoulder strap? Yeah, yes, it does. Uh, still all wrapped up in its plastic. All right. Any other bids besides Horizon Pick? It was in for 15. And it's, obviously, it came out of a boutique because of the kind of tag that's on it. Hello, Blandine. Hello, Tondra. Welcome to the show. We have a $15 bid in at Horizon. We're going to say going once to Horizon. Tondra, you're never too late. We just started. Yep, we just started. Going twice for $15 to Horizon Fix. Last call. Any other bids? We are going to say sold to Horizon Fix. Sold. For $15. Congratulations. Okay. The next thing that I have is this wallet. It's London on it. It's just a simple wallet like this. Um, it looks brand new, but it doesn't have tags or anything. But it's very clean. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. And Chandra, there's no form to bid. It's just if you actually nope. do make a purchase... Just email the person who you're buying from, and they will send you an invoice. And the invoice at the end of the show. We're going to do $3 on this wallet, London. Just has different little sites in London. No brand, no nothing. But like I said, it's very clean. doesn't look like it's really been used. Three dollars on the London wallet. Uh, 
Uh, you resellers, hello. If there's no interest in this one, I do have one more wallet. This one is brand new. It's called Peace Love World. And if you look at the front of it right there, love is not something you look for. Love is something you become. That's cute. And then whoever said that is right there. Is that the same price starting with three dollars? Yes, we're gonna do three on this one. It is a peace love world. There's the inside of it. There's the back. Did you get the right one? And the yeah, zipper also says peace love world. Does have a little wrist strap. If there is no interest, we will set it aside. And if you decide you want on it, just let me know. And we will go back to Marion. Okay. I have three pair of earrings. They're brand new. They're pierced. And you get your choice, and the starting bid is five dollars. So this is the first pair. They're beautiful, has all the stones. This one has the lever backs on them. Ay, ay, ay. That's pair number one. This is pair number two. It has stones in it, and then this is pair number three. They're all beautiful. This is a post. And the second one is a post. Um, and you see them all? Yeah. You see them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. The starting bid is $5 each. You can make some good money on these. This one especially is the most beautiful. Okay, so we got three pairs of earrings. Starting bid, $5. Your choice on which one you want. Jonda, yeah, I will bring back the wallet on my next turn. Okay. okay. Any bids on it? Uh, there's choice. Huh? Choice. I wish you could see the sparkles better because they really sparkle. This one is They're very pretty. Okay. Then um, next one I'm going to do is a lot of three rings. Where did I put them? They're also really pretty. $5 each. Um, I, I think they're on the small size. I'll put it on. Let's see. That's one of them. Marion, you said that this is a choice, or is it a lot for? for oh, choice. Choice. Okay, just clarifying because you said both things. That's why I might want to make sure. Here's this one. Costume rings, never worn. The finishes are perfect. This has a like black stone. And uh, they're really pretty. Not the one on my finger either. <laughs> Got to. And just testing, Laura, did we lose you? No, I'm here. Oh, okay. All right, the stream yard went down for a moment, but it came right back up. So. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to make sure. <laughs> Any interest yeah, in these pretty rings? Okay. Carol's Chaos wants to know what size is the multi stone one? Um, I don't know. I, ha I have a ring thing. I'd have to go get it. I could go get it after. 
I think I wear a seven and it doesn't, it barely goes. Let me see. Is there a ticket on here? There is a tag. It says, uh, good. It says the one with the most stones. I think this one. Yeah, this one is, shoot. It has a price thing, I think, of $60 on it or something like that. Doesn't have the size, but I have a ring thing, and I when I come back around, I I'll go grab it, a ring sizer, and tell you what size it is. Okay. Right. Yep. Yeah, I can do that. If that works, we can put that one on hold and bring that back have, up. Have it right here. Okay, and then I have a box of 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 doll furniture. Kind of heavy. So there's a. A metal, this is a table, it opens up, a bridge table with two chairs. This is the bottom that goes under the table that holds it up. And then, uh, I don't know. Up. Then it has these two chairs with it. It's for, to put your dolls on. So that's one thing in there. And then there's a, a pair of these skates. Or I don't know what kind of doll. It's sort of a, they're purple roller skates. Then there's a, a little teddy bear in here. And then there's a, whatever this is, for a kid's room or something. Hello, there, care. That what? is a snowboard. And a how much were you doing the starting bid on the box? $5 on the box. And then there's, I don't know, there's an that ironing like board. A bigger size doll, right? Yeah, here's an ironing board. And okay. Laura, if you don't mind, if you can moderate this round, I'm going to put it. it in for $5. This is a little pillow and spread. And what is this? Oh, a scooter, a metal scooter. Oh, there you go. And today I shipped two box in a bag. <laughs> I'm getting better. You did it. <laughs> Yay. It was half the price. Exactly, Mary, and it's the best thing. Well, you guys will probably be getting your boxes in the bags now. And then <laughs> here's the, a hand puppet thing, a cow or whatever it is. I think it's kind of cute. Does it have a face? Uh, let's see. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's a Lindsay. It's a, oh, it is a onesie, huh? Yeah. It's oh, we, I was going to say, we can't use the word onesie. Is that what it is? <laughs> it's it's a, a, a full body suit. <laughs> and here's a beach chair for your doll. Melody's at a nine. It's a big mixed bag. And this table is something else. This metal card table has two chairs. And this is the base. Oh my lord, that looks like Where's, so real. this is kind of heavy by itself. Card table and chairs. So uh, it's kind of different. So that's because with my doll lot. So that's the mixed bag. So whoever Chandra, do you want to come it, in and um, put it in the bag? Let's see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> to put it down. Oh, I'm going to throw in this doll. I don't know who she is. She naked. Okay. <laughs> I know. I she naked doll. Put on those clothes. <laughs> Whoever gets the dresser, I don't know who she is. She's got a little mark in the back. Oh, we got to cover our eyes. She's naked. <laughs> Chandra's out. <laughs> Do we have any other bids above $9? Okay. If not, well, we will count it down. Going once, going twice, and the last call. Fair warning. Call to Melody. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you, Melody. That was number three, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. and thank you for moderating, uh, Laura. No problem. I appreciate that. I run over and get the moments. Get the ring sizer. I'll get up in a second here. I think Wesley is a brand. It's a specific name, right? 
Is that why we can't use it? Onesie, yeah. yeah it's you a have to see like a full body suit or something along those lines. Okay, so for starters, I have Nordic Wear International. It is a skull cake pan. And it is one of the metal ones, brand new. Um, it's in the shape of like a skull, like a sugar skull sort of thing. 3.6 cup capacity. Uh, you can use it for baking cakes. You can use it for like jello molds. Um, it's and hard to sell. It's a really good brand. It's a very good brand, and I'm selling this for a steal. So <laughs> $6, I'm sorry, $8 starting bid, which is like a third of what it's actually cost. And it's, like I said, brand new with the, the thing never used, and it's in excellent condition. It's Nordic wear, and it makes a small cake. Uh, I have a, I have a few of their pans. They're not cheap. Hey, Hemlock. Hello, Hemlock. Any interest in this bowl? Great for Halloween. Great for um, scaring people. Just designs. <laughs> Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. That works dead. too. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer's in it. Eight dollars. And I got to see because there is still a lag between chat and the. Yeah. We have Triple J and Crafts. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. Any other bids besides Triple J for $8 for this Nordic Wear brand new skull kick in? If not, we're going to say go on once to Jennifer. Going twice. First call, if anybody's interested, we're going to say so. Thank you so much for Triple J for $8. Congratulations. The next thing, this is an oldie. Oof. Item two. Four. I, I was almost excited when I saw this, but it's old. Linen curlers. We're going to start this off at $8 as well. It is a box never opened of linen curlers for the hair. And oh my this God, is, I remember those things. This is old stuff. I mean, part of me wants to say, okay, there's no date on the box, but it says linen curlers um, incorporated. Yeah, Am I thinking that this is like 60s, 70s? Or is this going back even? 60s, 70s, if not before. Yes. Um, the, no gross, the grocery no. price was 50 cents for them. So this could be the 70s, but this is a vintage box, completely sealed, never used, linen curler rollers, soft for the hair, you lay down on them, or just for the fact of keeping the box. Like uh, as a, there is some, um, like just a little crush, but it's been in the same package. So I'm selling this for $8 if anybody is interested. I will tell you, they're easier to sleep in than most other curlers. Mm -hmm. They're nice and soft. <laughs> yes. Now, here's a question. I, I don't know if you know about these. Were these the ones you throw out, or you, like, rewash them and use them over and over again? No, you can wash them over. Uh, if it's the ones I'm thinking of, they have, like, metal in the in the long part, and they twist. Okay. Well, it's got, like, a strand of metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Are those tight? Yeah. So I don't know what that means. So you can rewash these. I wasn't yeah. too sure because it didn't specify on the outside. And it basically said just wet and roll your hair on linen curlers. Try thoroughly. But it yeah. never said whether you could reuse them or not. I was curious. I didn't know. Yeah. So any interest in the curlers? This is an oldie but goodie. Hey, PNB. Welcome to the show, PNB. You're getting eight dollars for the school pan. All right, if there's no interest, I will go to item number three. And of course, up oh, we have Carol's Chaos in for eight dollars. Let me just show that one more time. Any other interest besides Carol Chaos for the linen vintage Cajun in is also at eight. Cajun, do you want to come in at nine? And we will say we have a bidding war. Carol's Chaos did come in first. Cajun's at nine. Cajun is in at nine. Carol, you want to come back in? 
Or are we giving this to Johnny? That's why I said these, these are, this is a classic Oh. Yeah, I think those are actually the ones that you tie. Yeah. It, it does say, it says, um, Carol's at it 10. It's made from a square foam river center covered in soft fabric and fastens to the hair by ear like fabric tabs. They're so comfortable you could sleep in it. There's yeah. nothing to prick, pull, or damage. You don't need pins and clips. Cajun's at 11. So this we've is got like an auction. A, we've got an auction for linen curlers. These are oh, <laughs> I need to use that for the twenty three. <laughs> I never use those things. So I have not Johnny, really you need it. to do a show with all the, the curlers in your hair. <laughs> uh, Cajun's at 13. thirteen. We've got a bidding war. That would look cute in a country store display. Yes, it would. Yeah, absolutely. Carol's in at 14. Maybe someday I'll actually open up my store. Who knows? <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't seen those in forever. That's why I said this was a unique find. Yeah. I, I had no idea what it was. And I'm like, oh, it's old. And I'm like, oh, what's the year? What's the year? And I'm like, I have no idea. There's no year on it. Uh, I would say 50s, probably. 50s? Cajun said at 15. See, I was estimating 70s, but like I said, they go back even further than that. So. Yeah, because the ones that they came out with after that, have right. their, it's like they have metal, uh, just as like a very light strand of metal where you can twist, twist them like a bread tie. Those look like you tie them. Could very, be very, it's very, very hard to see. Yeah. So. Yeah, those look like you would tie them, but yeah. That Cajun out. Cajun, no. Okay, so wait, Cows is out. Cows is out. Cajun is out. Cajun's in at 15. Johnny's in at 15. Any other bids? This is a great buy. If not, we're going to say go once to Johnny. $15. I'll say going twice. Last call for these old curlers. Sold to Johnny. Thank you so much, Cajun. Cajun don't play, yeah. He don't All play. Right. He's he's serious about this. And that is for $15. Thank you so much. And then my third item is just in time. Whoops. For Easter. And this is a nice thing. Item number three. Department 56 eggs. And we're going to start them off at $8. I have a box of Department 56 exclusively made for that. It is a set of six wooden Easter eggs. Look how adorable they are. Pastel colors with the cute little flowers in it. They are, look at that wooden egg set, six eggs. Department 56. For those of you who collect Department 56, you know it's a high-end brand. Yeah. They have good stuff. So I'm starting this off at $8. No, you do not need to refrigerate them. <laughs> you can if you want, but... <laughs> I don't know. Really it, they're, they're wood, so I don't know if it'll, like, split the wood or anything, but they're cute. <laughs> Agent is in at 8 for the Department 56. Any other bidders for the eggs? And it'll come just in time for Easter. So make great little um, decorations or, or uh, Easter basket stuffers or anything you want. If not, are we going to start calling it to Johnny? Well, Any other cool. bids? We'll say going once. Going twice to Johnny. I'm just waiting a little bit for possible lag time because we are running like an eight second lag. And last call. Johnny, congratulations. You are getting egged. Thank Yay. you so much. So to Cajun. Eggs. And we're going to you, Laura. Okay, okay. Chandra, which wallet did you want to see? The Peace Love World one? Or was it the London one? Who was the Peace Love World one? I think. 
Just let me know which one and I'll bring it back. Or both, whichever. I have a weird lot here. I have a brand new sealed DVD, The Company. And then I have a brand new sealed Rush Hour 2 VHS tape. Then I have a Jeff Healy CD and a Meatloaf CD. And we're going to do, um, let's do $5 starting on all four of these. Two CDs, two sealed movies. One VHS, one DVD. I frankly do not know where this came from. So, came in one of the lots I bought. So, the company, Rush Hour 2, Jeff Healy, and Meatloaf. The movies are sealed, never opened. The CDs are definitely open, but seem to be in good shape. So, we'll put that out there if anybody wants to just let me know. All right. China, this is the London one. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. That is the inside of it. We were doing $3 on this one. And then I have this brand new Peace Love World. Uh, love is not something you look for. Love is something you become. This is the inside of this one. Also $3. Does have the wrist strap. And the zipper does say Peace Love World also. So those were the two wallets. If you want both, we can do, I'll do five for both if you want both, Shonda. So just let me know if five works for you. And then I will. Okay, Chandra, gotcha. Then I have cookbook. It's the once a month, once a month cooking. It says over 150,000 in print. Time saving, budget stretching, plan to prepare delicious meals. I'll take it in. This, I was looking for a year on it. We can do this at, uh, we'll do this at three. And a year. And I missed it. Okay. You have Chandra in for both of the wallets? Yeah. yeah okay. okay both yeah got it five for both and uh this is published in colorado springs and it's got printed in 93 94 95 96 97 98 you got a bit of three dollars okay Triple J. Anybody else besides Jen? Once a month cooking? If not, we can definitely call it down to Jen. Looks like it has some. It gives you the gives you the supplies list and then the actual recipe freezer containers. 
you have Triple J in for three dollars for the cookbook. Chinese chicken morsels. Oh, well, apparently you have entree plans. Any other bits besides Triple J cap crafts? It gives you a grocery shopping and staples list. So, once a month cooking. If not, we'll start calling it to Triple J going once yep. for three dollars. Going twice. Any other bids? Last call. We're going to say sold to Triple J Craft for $3. Yeah, you got it. Congratulations. And Mary, are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so that's neat. Um, this ring was uh, six and a half. This one. And this is six and three quarters. Put this on this finger. And this one was a little smaller. <laughs> Can't do that. Anyway, I think those are the three rings that I think Carol asked me about. One has is like a band of stones. And they're five dollars each. I dropped it here. Which this one. This is the sparkliest one. Five dollars for which one? Love, which one do you want? I can't get the many stones ring. Can I get the many stones ring? Oh, so what should I do, girl? Okay. Carol gets the many stones ring because she asked me early, right? Before. Yep, she asked earlier. She, she did ask. Love, yeah. for $5, which one did you want? I have these two. Let's see. And I have another one here. Just hold on a second. I don't, um, see if I can find another one. Okay, I don't see it. Mm. I don't know, I may have another, but I can't put my hand on it. <laughs> okay, so it's just these two right now. I thought I had one more here, but I have a lot of earrings. <laughs> so no more rings right now. Okay, love, would you like the other one? The other oh, stone? two more left? You have stones, pretty stones. Um, I don't know what the Pave setting is. Is that the one that you're holding? That, no, that's the other one. That's the other the one. Pave. Okay. Yeah, it's when the stones are set down in. Okay, yeah. thank you. I, I See, I didn't know that. <laughs> now you learn something, right? I learn something new each and every time we show stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Um, I have the, these. Love Hollis says she will take those too. These two, that's $10. Yeah, so we're going to say sold to Carol yep. for five. Okay. And, then, and then sold to Love Hollis. Let me grab a baggie. Ten. Got a, let's see. Okay. So I can do that after. Then I have five pins in the package from the Olympics. They're, uh, they're put out by Chevron. I guess they were a sponsor. And they're the basketball teams, the Lakers, Lake, uh, Lakers, Rod, Rod Hundley. I don't know. He, he, they're all Lakers players. Can't read all. Gail Goodrich and Jamal Wilkins. And this one is looks like Jerry West. And... Uh, can't read the third one really good. I want to show them to you. They're in the package. And how much are we starting it off at? Five dollars for the five. For the whole pack. Okay, so five dollars. Okay, they're pins. They're pins and they're uh, basketball. Yeah. Okay. And they're from the Olympics. Olympics. Like played in the Olympics and. 
If I could read better, I could tell you what year. Marion, bring them closer to your face. To my face? Yes, because yeah. they're too close to the camera. We can't see anything. Okay, how's this? Spread it out. Better. No, and, then, no. yeah. and then now you can hold each one up separately. There you go. Okay, this one? Yeah, that's perfect. But like, yeah. just hold. Nope, to your face more. There you go. Okay, now you can hold them up. Okay, here's another one. And uh, Johnny and KJ Moots reseller in for five dollars for okay. the pins. And these are the Legend uh, Lakers pins. I think there's something from '88 or '92. Let's see the back of one. I'm trying to see uh, the year. Yeah, you're being noisy. This is the back. It has all the statistics about the players. Yeah. It's probably going to be 1992. Yeah, I think so. That's what it's probably okay. going to be. So all five. Okay. Any more bids? How, how are we for leg time? About eight seconds. We're still about eight seconds. That's and you're good. breaking up a little bit. You're chopped up a little, Marion. But we can still see you. So we have Cajun in for five dollars. It's a set of five Lakers pins. I believe it's 1992 is the year. It's a Legend series. Is there maybe any other bid? Maybe these were the main players at that time. I don't know. Not too much, but there they are. They're mint condition. I have one more item here. We'll say going once to Johnny then. Any other bids besides Cajun Roots for the pins? Going twice. Brass call. Okay, we're going to say sold to Cajun Roots. Congratulations, okay. Johnny, for $5. So dollars. It's made of stone. It, it's white stone, some kind of stone. It's got a lot of weight to it. I was going to say, is that heavy? Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's heavy. I'll model it. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> that looks like something out of uh, like the Flintstones. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Starting bid, $5. I think it's really unique. I think you should be able to sell this $20, $25 because it's really Andra unique. Andra said that that's Howlite. Howlite? Whatever. I'm not too good on the stones. Has a a, a lobster, right a lobster clasp. I have no nails. I can't. Get. Anyway, it's really pretty. Yep, that's a white highlight stone necklace. Yep, the real stones. Here I'm clicking. Any interest? Starting bid five dollars. That's my third item. Any interest? That's a beautiful necklace. White highlight, starting bid five dollars. One of a kind. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anything like it. That, the shape, they're all different on these things. Yeah. I think if you create jewelry, you might take it apart and do something really creative with these. If not, that's definitely a statement. I yeah. will on the black crop. Beautiful on a black shirt or black. Yeah, it would be pretty on a black shirt. Yeah. yeah. If there's no interest, we can pass it. It'll be here. Somebody decides. Yep, that's good. Thanks, guys. Melanie. Melanie is okay. So for my item number one, I'm going to make this a little confusing. But oh, wait, Cajun is in for $5 for your necklace. Okay. Any other bids? Any other bids for the how like? If not, we'll start calling it to Cajun. I'm going to say that Cajun probably has it. Okay, thank you. Sold yeah. to Cajun. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, it's going to sound a little confusing, but I just acquired a massive, massive collection of quilting books, painting books, and crafting books. 
So I'm going to show you a little example of what I'm doing. I do a special 10 for $15. So for example, this is the painting style book. There are 10 random books that you'll get. So it's like painting uh, things, country painting, country folk, painting signs and frames, painting like boxes. So this is like the painting example, stuffing, holiday fair, Santa Claus. So that's just like a random 10 of the crafting, of, of the uh, painting. Or you could do a random quilting style. And to show you the quilting style, and you can get as many lots of these as you want. This would be an example of quilting fabrics. It would help if I'm actually in the right thing. Quilts of the season, hearts and flowers. So like I said, colonial applique. If anybody is interested in either quilting, painting, or crafts, I do 10 books. They're all in amazing condition. They all um, crisp, glossy pages. The only thing that some of them may have is they may have a tag or a price tag on them. But if you're interested, you just, you could put a bid in or you could contact me. But those are the three styles of books that I have. And you could do unlimited amounts of either crafting, quilting, or painting. And I do that special and that's gonna be an ongoing special for as long as I have them just like I did my DVDs, but in this case, it's crafting stuff. So while I'm doing that, if there's no interest in that, the next thing I'm gonna pull up is I have item number two is three clowns, three clowns. I'm gonna start this bid off at $5. Okay, so you're gonna get three ceramic clowns. You'll get this happy little creepy clown number one with his little balloons. These are all ceramic figurine pieces. Another happy little clown doing, I guess, laundry. Yeah, it looks like laundry, right? He's doing laundry. And then the third happy little clown is like singing in the rain with his little umbrella. You'll get all three. There is no maker's mark or anything on the bottom. So they're just standard uh, ceramic figurines. They are in excellent condition. There's no chips, no cracks. Um, this one has a slight chip right there, but other than that, the figurine itself is in great condition and there's no crazing. So out of all three, the one that has the small chip, but it's on the bottom where the hole is, so nobody will see it. Is any interest in the three clowns? These are the three you'll get starting with $5. And if there's no interest in the clowns, 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 many clowns. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to show is I'm doing an ongoing special. And some of you may have already received some of them. I hope you like them. But I do big deals like this. The next one, item number three, is sanitizers. We're doing two, four, five. These are adorable and they're all brand new. They're cute little mermaid pocketbook sanitizer holders. And what I mean is you can do the rainbow style or you could do the regular style. Each one comes with a brand new sanitizer and there's different ones. This one happens to be a ripe um, sun ripe raspberry. This one over here example is sweet candy cane with vanilla. So each one is different. It's a cute little like beach bag or a purse, they all have their tags, they're all brand new. And it's a nice mermaid rainbow mixture. So if you like that that texture touching, you can do it either silver or multicolored. And I do a special two for five, anybody's interested. If there's no interest, we can simply go to Laura. Okay. Oh, wait, I have triple crafts in for $5. Okay. okay. Triple, triple J, just making sure for the sanitizers. Did you only want one set? Our lag time might, might have gone up a little bit. It might have. I'll do a little. Let me just see something. I'm live. Here. 
Okay, so she wants one set. And we're looking at 12 second lag. So it did go up just a little bit. Okay, thank you so much, Triple J. Okay. I'm going to do this little lot. It's uh, trivets. This one you can is a decor one. It is the grandma in the store window doing her sewing alterations. It is like shaped like a cutting board. On the back, this is the tag. We're going to do this at $5. very cute. It is wood. And with that is also going to come Hampton Court. The back of this one has the like felt. So you have Hampton Court and the decorative breadboard or trivet of some kind. And you have Triple J in for $5 for the cutting board set. This one is nice. It's nice and glossy. This one is more like this one. Yeah, it's pretty glossy too. There's a hole in this one so you can hang it up. This one nice. definitely sit on the counter. Makes a nice decorative wall hanging too. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really cute. Trying to see if there's a year on it. It says very collectible chopping boards from. That is too small for me to read. Any other bids besides Triple J Crafts for both cutting boards? If not, we'll say going once. Triple J. I love the black and white Hampton Court. A nice collection of cutting boards going twice. Last call. We are going to say sold to Triple J. Congratulations. Okay. Then I have another cookbook. This is over uh, 550,000 copies sold. It's called Calling All Cooks. It is a very large cookbook. We're going to do this one at five. There's tons of recipes in it. And it looks like a wide variety because you got squash casserole, the perfect chocolate cake, marble milk chocolate cake, chocolate pudding cake, chocolate shasta cake, cherry top cheesecake. I think I'm in the cake section. Whole wheat muffins. It has apple pie in a bag. French coconut pie. Oh, no. You have a Triple J Crafts in for $5 for the cookbook. And we have dressing and sauces and soups. It's a good... It's from the... Telephone Pioneers of America, Alabama, chapter number 34. I didn't know that was a thing, but there you go. Looks like the telephone companies put these out. You have book one yellow. There are three of these. Oh, okay. So there's three different ones in that series. Oh, huh. okay. That's good to know. Thank you, Horizon. Yeah. So Triple J caps in for five. Any other bids? Now we'll start calling it going once to Triple J Crafts. Going twice. 
We are experiencing approximately 12 second lag, so we're just trying to give a little extra time for that. Last call. And we're going to say sold to Triple J. Yay. Five dollars. Congratulations. One more, right? One more. Yeah, that was item number two. Okay. Next one is, I told you I was random today. This is a signed artist copy. Um, this lady is very famous for her gothic art. Um, this is a signed copy. Her original painting was called Never and Always. And it's from Alyssa Rendell's 2010. So she put the name on it. She signed it with the year. So this this painting was called Never and Always. She does tons of gothic art. But we're going to do this one at $10 for the signed copy. Um, there are, there were, I found other ones on eBay, but none of them were signed. It seems I have the only signed one. Yeah. Yeah, it looked very pretty framed. If you like Gothic Heart. And then with that, I'm going to do this art piece. This one is called Panda, is when I looked it up. It is more of an anime style. Um, not signed, nothing on the back. So if there's no interest, we can always come back if somebody wants it. And that was my three, so we will go back to Marion. Okay, I have a little basketball collection from the 1992 Olympics. This, there's 14 cards in this little group. That's the whole team. And on the front here, you'll see there's Charles Barkley. I don't know if his autograph has any value, but this is the autograph. And so whoever had it had it laminated. So... I think it's authentic. And then there's this little pin in this group. And a couple of uh, big cards with pictures of the team. And I'd like to start this lot at $10. So you get all these things, including the, pin, the pictures, the pin. And it uh, says, proud to be a Texan on this pin. I don't know what this has to do with that. And then Charles Barkley's autograph and the 14 cards. They come in a nice little plastic holder. If you would like to see the other players, I'd be happy to show them. Well, he'll... Mm -hmm. I just Melody, I did something to you. What did you do? I uh okay, you deleted hold on. Uh oh. And did you do it to me too? <laughs> you did it to Triple J. I did it to Triple J and to you. And to me too? <laughs> well, I think I had a catastrophe because he was over here. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, wait, wait. How long is 300 okay. seconds? That's like five minutes? 300? Yeah. 300 seconds? Oh, there we go. Undo. Yeah, if you can undo because I can undo it. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to undo it. Okay. Hopefully I could undo it. Okay. 14 cards. You're at $20 so far, Ghost Fire. Let's go start at 
Yeah, it deleted every single one of Triple J. Triple J, if you're listening, just hang in there for a little bit. Um. <laughs> My cat decided to let you go away. I'm at $20 with this. Did you say? Triple J, just in case, if you do want to bid in this, um, this lot, can you please email me quickly? If you want to bid on this slot, if you don't want to bid on this slot, I'm, uh, just... I'm undoing her. You're undoing her, okay? But I think she's still going to be timed out for 300 seconds. So, <laughs> I'm trying to undo her. <laughs> we do have Ghost Pirate in for, for twenty five dollars. Wow, it doesn't even show. Oh, here, let's see. I I did something on my thing here. Uh, Ghost yeah, we're waiting. We're waiting for this to catch up because we had a little catastrophe okay. with the kitty cat. <laughs> Rise up in twenty seven dollars. Yeah. Ghost That's pirate I'm is just stepping on my phone. Ghost pirate is in for thirty. This is a great collection. You got Charles Barkley. You've got the pins. You've got the autograph. Excellent collection. Cute little collection. And Triple J, we're sorry about the inconvenience. You should be People able to start back. speaking in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, I think you can call it for Ghost. Okay, so Rise Up is out. Ghost Pirate, is there any other bids? Cajun is out. Just waiting one second. I don't think she's wants to bid on this because I don't have right. anything in my email. Okay, so we're gonna cookbooks. <laughs> we're gonna say thirty dollars to Ghost Pirate. Going once. Any other bids for this amazing collection of basketball? Nice. Going twice to Ghost Pirate. Nice. Okay. We're gonna say last call. Call okay. to Ghost Pirate. Thirty dollars, excellent. Okay, so congratulations. I have a bag of pins here. These pin bags, things. I, they're all from uh, the Olympics, I guess. I get. I don't know. I'll show them. Maybe you can read them better than I can. My eyes are so bad. Can you see what that says? I, Hold it upside down. It's upside down, yeah. Cardinals. Yep. Cardinals. Football, football teams. I don't know. What's this one Arizona say? Cardinals. What's this one say? Can you see this one? I can't see what I'm doing. That one says the that Kings. one's upside down, but it's Kings. Kings. So there's one. I better count them, huh? Somewhere in the bags. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, you're not allowed over here because you you burn a mean boy. Nine of these, and a starting bid is ten dollars. Try to show some of them. I don't know. Yeah, you were back. Oh, of course. This one says Unicall 76. Uh, you want me to see them better? I'll take them out. They're all in their packages, new. Pinbacks, nine pinbacks for uh, say $9. How's He'll bring that? it back all the messages. <laughs> Horizon. Wrong test, Horizon. Thanks, but we appreciate it. <laughs> is, is it allowing you to bring back the messages, Laura? Or Yeah, it looks, on my end, it looks like they're coming back. I mean, I'm just thinking by now it's been past 300 seconds, but I don't know how it works when you... <laughs> Any Thank interest you. in the pin collection... For 
These are all types of, uh, I'm assuming, baseball. And what does that no, say by Unico? What's this? Union Oil did one. Different companies. We have yeah, Lynn yeah. Brunson in at $10. Welcome to the show, Lynn. Okay. I placed bid, but it wasn't putting them. What? How many pins? Nine pins. I placed bids, but it wasn't putting in. Was that Nine for pins. the... Lynn came in at 10. Pins. We see you now, Horizon Picks. Put your bid in. Yeah, you're doing fine. And I didn't um, time you out. Yeah, you weren't timed out. Um, I did uh, it to Bill. I did it to the messages and to. Uh, well, I didn't. The cat did. Hello, Polo Widener. Welcome to the show. We're still looking to see if Triple J is in the house. I just emailed her. Okay. I was going to take this out. So they're stuck we're in, in a, We're in for $12 for Horizon oh, Picks. Any other interest besides Horizon Picks? You see this one? Looks like baseball. It's also by Union Oil. It has something on the back. Oh, nothing on the back. Okay. Hey, Marion, are you still having auction tonight? I spent it. Lynn's in at 13. 13? Okay. I know pin backs are pretty popular. I don't get them very often. David brought me this lot. Okay. Closing out my phone so he can't step on it again. Lynn's <laughs> in at 13. Any other bids besides Lynn? For nine pins. Nine pins. Horizon pick came back in at 14. We have an auction. Yeah. Lynn's at 15. Lynn. Lynn. I just mailed her package. My I got to go get something. Horizon 15. Lynn's in at 15. Any other bids? Did, Did you, you show cards? What cards? You mentioned you had cards. This she did show Lindsay. I she did show cards. the Lakers cards. They okay. have been sold. But I had the other two. Oh, I have the pins. I have pins. I'm going to show again. Stay away from the computer. Uh, uh, 1980. Right. Is out. Lynn. Any other bids besides Lynn? It's at fifteen dollars right now for the pins. If not, we're gonna say going once. Lindsay, she showed two sets of cards. The first card already went um, for thirty dollars, and I wasn't too sure. Uh, Marion, did those? Um, I don't know what cards. The uh, Olympic cards, the Lakers one. I wasn't too sure if those went. Those were the only cards, I think. The others were pins. Last call. Okay, we are sold to Lynn for $15. Thank you. Thank you. I have one more. And I'm just sold. bear in mind, Marion, we have a Lindsay and we have a Lynn. So just uh, be Lynn, careful. Lynn B. Lynn B. Was it? Yeah. Lynn Brunson, right? Yeah. 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 Um, so uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Lynn, stick around, <laughs> don't go anywhere. I have something to show you. Sorry, so I have one more lot, right? Yes, you I, do. Yes, I have a lot of advertising, little, little advertising things like um, these little cans of food. You know, I guess they're for the dollhouses, huh? And then I have this, um, what is this, soda? What kind of soda is this? Can you seven see up. It? Seven up. And then there's another can. They're cute. 
This has some candy in it, but I wouldn't eat it because oh, no, those things. are jelly bellies. Seven up, they're jelly beans. Seven up jelly beans. I don't recommend anybody eats these. Don't give them to your kids to eat, please. I don't want anybody to get a stomach ache. <laughs> oh, they last so, forever. They're good. They do. Okay. And then I have this thing from Hershey's. It's really cute. So I'll start this lot at $5. So there's the Hershey's, the two cans of soda, and, um, and how many of these little goodies? Two, three, four, five, six. six little, this is a, I think this is a soda can too, isn't it? $5 starting good for somebody's dollhouse. $5 for all this stuff. Any interest? Any interest in the uh, food, dollhouse food with the Jelly Belly jelly beans? And the Hershey's. $5? And the Hershey's ornaments. Cute. I might be getting more doll stuff after uh, Wednesday, maybe. I told him only to buy paper doll books. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, did you see paper doll books, Marion? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think they saw you wouldn't know anything about those. <laughs> I give instructions. Anyway. I, I got I got to sit on my hands when it comes to books. I'm not allowed to buy books anymore. You guys would have a field day. We bought a storage locker today. It looked like it belonged to some kind of dealer. There were bins and bins and boxes, and they they had their photo thing set up there in the storage. So David thought it's all their inventory. <laughs> oh, Going tomorrow morning to check it out. Good luck with that. You're probably going to find some fun stuff. Collectibles. Any, Any bids? bids? This is a nice little lot. Nope. Looks like no bids. Okay. So that's it for now. There okay. You. So the first thing I'm going to show is my item number one is a ball chair. Let's see. And we're going to do this at $5. How about that? It is a beautiful hand painted doll rocking chair it's made out of wood it's completely handmade it has the crackling distress look in the paint and then it is painted with uh birdhouses um daisies and a nice little green and white tone i'm starting this off at five dollars starting bid if anybody's interested for a rocker makes a nice display piece put the doll in the chair and have it rock back and forth no makers mark or anything because this is handmade well, made in China, actually. <laughs> Cat is talking. Any bids? Um, it looks like Horizon Picks and Triple J are both completely locked out of the video. <laughs> Horizon <laughs> Picks was just in. I know, he was just in. Horizon, are you... Unless trying to restart. I don't know. I just had an email from him. Mlock says, Bemos, tech, check your text. I already answered her. Okay. Horizon, are you still in the chat or are you, are you completely locked out? I don't know. I just got the email and it could be from earlier, but we did lose uh, Triple J. <laughs> yeah, I emailed her. Okay. Any interest in the chair? If not, I will go to... Uh, I am doing a special on Star Wars. Star Wars puzzles. And we're going to start this off. These are $3 flat rate. Um, It's a bite now. I have a three-piece Star Wars puzzle set. It's All a right, so Play something. It's a panoramic set. You're going to get three sealed boxes, 
And in the sealed boxes, you put all three puzzles together and it creates a cute panoramic view. The three puzzles are 100 piece, 63 piece, and 48 pieces for a total of 211 pieces. So as you do these puzzles, you just put them together and it makes one big scene. If anybody's interested, I am doing as many as you want for $3 each. It's a nice gift for a Star Wars fan, for kids. Display piece. Hello, Blind Dean. Welcome to the show. Any interest in the Star Wars puzzles? If there's no interest. Uh oh, somebody has me on. Uh, yeah, I, it's me. Hang on. That's okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to see. I didn't get notifications. Oh, hello, Lisa's Treasures. In fact, you know what we're going to do? Um, Laura, I'm going to do a, yeah, we need to do a test right now. So I'm going to do a giveaway. Because huh. I did say that this time around, I was doing a giveaway on your show. All right, everybody. We're doing a, we are doing a giveaway test. What I am doing is, being we're on Laura's show, and she gave away something on my video. I'm going to give away something to her. So, the, so I want everybody to pick a number from 1 to 30. The winner will get a medium flat rate box filled with goodies. So we're going to start that now. And this is also a test to see who's actually in here because <laughs> something's going on with the chat. <laughs> so... Let me write that in the chat. Pick a number. One to 30. Winner gets. We got some numbers coming up. There we go. So three um, medium box of goodies. Ghost pirates here. Okay. So we've got. Yeah, here. We'll right. Just give it a minute. Just make sure that there's no doubles. It's from one to 30. Oh, Blandine, please pick another number. You have the same number in. So, Blandine, you just need to pick one more number. Write that in, Blandine. Please choose another number. Polo, we have you in for 20. You put it in for 20. We just need Blandine to pick another number. 26, 18... Yeah, so it looks like Ghost Pirate's not in. He's here. He's here. I saw him. Oh, not Ghost Pirate. Um, Horizon? Horizon, yeah. And somebody Wait, else. I just emailed him back also. Okay. We got you, Blandy. We got you in for three. Yeah, she put it up. Okay, any, anybody else putting a number in from one... Oops. Johnny, where do I go to see blocked? Is T still here? Is T still here? I didn't see her. I'm trying to find where to go to see if... Yeah, we lost a lot of people. So do you think I should wait on it or keep the numbers in locked in and just choose one? Choose yeah, just one. choose it. Okay, I'm going to choose one. Yeah, whoever. Oh, T's still here. T, you want to put a number in? One to 30, just don't match anybody who's above us. I don't know where to go to find... Do you have Siri? Hey, where do you go to find blocked people? Do you have Siri on your telephone? I don't have Siri, but this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if Google will do one for me. Yeah, it might be done. Go to Google, it says. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I don't know if it was. I'm looking for one. Yeah. 
Okay. I haven't generated it yet, so the answer is not five. But what I'm going to do is pick a number from one to 30, which I just did. If you can see that. So I'm going to hit generate. And the winning number is eight. So let's see who was the closest to number eight. Do we have anybody close to eight? We have Lindsay Ann in. I just want to check. Lindsay Ann, you are the winner. Laura, do you see what they said? Congrats, Lindsay Ann. Yeah, no, because I'm not over there. You win. Go to Lindsay, your community if you can just do me a favor. YouTube studio, then, then community. Okay, Lindsay, if you could do me a favor, send me an email um, to melanie underscore light at hotmail.com with your information. Congratulations. I'm going to send you a medium surprise flat rate box. And if by chance you do purchase anything from me, I will simply combine it with the rest of your purchase. YouTube studios and, and congratulations. And then Laura, I think we are up to you or are we up? Okay. No, no, this is the start of me. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you haven't done anything yet. I haven't done anything yet. Yeah, I'm just talking. We had to do a test to make sure because obviously we had some problems in the chat. So now I get to show my items. I'm sorry. I'm all ready to go to the next uh, item. <laughs> all right. So item number one. I'm doing a Uno set deck. And we're going to do starting bid at $5. You're getting not one, but two sets of Uno cards. Two separate games. One is the classic Uno, and the Uno game is brand new, unused. The other one is a Sting game. It's a Rummy Gone Wild from the um, makers of Uno. This one has been opened up and used, but this one is brand new. You're getting both decks of cards, perfect for game night, family night, party night. Starting bid five dollars. If anybody's interested in the Uno cards, and you'll get both decks. It should have any blocked channels, if any are blocked. Hemlock is texting you. Laura. I know. I got her. Okay. Yeah, we're sorry to whoever got blocked. We are trying to figure this out. If they're blocked, they won't be seeing this, will they? <laughs> um, I, I think, I don't know if they can see this. I don't know there if it's nobody blocked. Nobody blocked? Nope. Okay. So the only thing I, I could think of is they have to restart or whatever, or does it depend on... If they're blocked for the day, they're blocked for the stream. I don't know. I don't know how that works for. Yeah, I have nobody blocked. Yeah. In it. Okay. it. It could very well be that if once they're blocked, they're not allowed to stay within the stream. So it might be the next time you run a stream, they'll be fine. But I'm not too sure. We have Paula Widener in for $5. Any other bids for the Uno cards besides Paula? And you'll be getting four, uh, both decks. Hello, Bonku. Welcome to the show. If not, we're going to say going to Paula going once for two decks of Uno cards. That's true. They could have left. It was who was it? Horizon and who else? Going in twice. Who's Bonku? I have no idea, but all you would have to do is just upload the images where it says images on Maybe eBay. I put images from my I think that's a troll. Probably. But we'll see if it's a legitimate question. All you have to do is upload the images. Where it says image, you just press it and you can put it in your descriptions. Yeah, Sold to Paula. Congratulations. That's $5 for Uno. 
Thank you so much, Paula. Oh, they, could have, they could have went to another auction. Okay, so the next item I'm going to show is I have a collection of soy soaps. And we're going to start this off at two. I like vexing rose. For four dollars. Hello, vexing rose. Welcome to the show. So I have a collection of two. Um, handmade soy soaps. Now this one is called God's Love, and what's cute about it is, is it has an adorable confetti pattern with like little kisses on top. So they're like vanilla kisses. The scent of it, I want to say, it literally smells like vanilla and rose mixed together. It's a very nice, heavenly scent. And the other one is called New Mexico Cliff Soaps. It has this beautiful. Um, like a Mexican color design. This one literally smells like um, ocean mixed with a little bit of musky smell to it. So both are very different. They're soy soaps. They're handmade. You've got um, two bars here selling both bars for $4 if anybody's interested in uh, handmade soy soaps. And we're doing well, Vexing Rose. We're glad that you came. Any interested? We have uh, blending for four dollars for the soy soaps. Any other bids for the soaps? If not, we'll start calling it to blending going once. We'll call it to blending going twice. Last call. We're going to say sold to Brand Bean. Congratulations. Four dollars. I think that was my yeah, one, two. No, that was my second item. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, third item. You did third the item. Uno cards. Yeah. I did the Uno cards and the soaps. That's all I did. I thought I did one more. Uh, mm -hmm. item number three. I know uh, Laura's trying to figure out her end, so that's why I have Avon Classic Bottles. And we're going to do starting bid $5. I've got five little perfume bottles. They're from the Avon collection. They still, Some of them still have perfume, but they're really old. This particular one is Avon Flowers, and this is in like a pen um, style. Or a paintbrush, maybe? No, I think this. Or this could be a um, like a cigarette cigarette stop. Then the next one is a cute little bird style, a dove. And this one is Charisma perfume. We have a little tiny piggy bank. Look at that! It's a little cute little piggy. They're glass bottles, great for those who like to collect. You can obviously put your own perfume in. This one's like a cute little oil lantern. There's no uh, sticker on this, but it's a classic oil lantern. And then this one is a little tiny gold mouse, and there's no uh, number on this. So you're going to get all five of these glass perfume bottles, starting bid $5. Now we have Paula in for $5. Any other bids? i got to take a quick drink. It's my, oh, my throat is starting to tickle. <laughs> Sorry about that. $5 in for Paula. Any other bids for the bottles? <coughs> Sorry. Blandine, we do see. So the one that looks like a cigarette cigar... The little piggy, the oil lamp, and the birdies. If not, we'll start calling it to Polar for $5. Let's say going once. Can I just checked on StreamYard for banned <laughs> users, and nobody's banned. And you know why I'm choking? I'm choking because of the perfume. Yeah. <laughs> exactly why I'm starting to choke. Yeah, I have uh, allergy sensitivities to perfumes. <laughs> I don't know why I said going 
sold to Paula. This is going back in the bag because the scent is making me choke. <laughs> and that was my three. Laura, if you're ready, you're up. If you're not ready, just Okay, I found the place on uh, Street Yard for banned people. <laughs> nobody is banned and there's no blocked users. So Jennifer and Horizon should be able to get back in. Okay. Lynn, are you still here? Okay. Mark is extremely late. Uh, All right. Yeah, Art is way late. Who's late? Art. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Put in seventeen dollars with. No, it's putting in the, the yeah, number. Still oh, here. Too late. <laughs> okay. Lynn, you want the uh, subscriber? What do you think? What is that? That is so pretty. I love the colors of that tray. You love it? I'm glad. It'll be going out to you. Okay. Now I'm going to do a lot of the phone grips, like the pop sockets, you know, that word we can't say. And you know, you guys can sell these on your stores or whatever. Yes, I made that. She won my 100 subscriber giveaway. And she wanted a, she chose a tray with blues. And that's what I did for her. Okay, so you guys can sell these on your websites or on eBay or whatever you want. But I'm going to do a lot of them. And they are all the pop sockets. There's this one, which is like a, it's a green gray. There's the red. There's a red with some other cream color mixed in. There's a green. Uh, there's another red. There's a pink. Another green with the gold edging. And another pink. So, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pop sockets. And we're going to do $5 for the lot. Like I said, you guys can sell them. These are um, the ones that I made before the end of the year. And so I'm just getting rid of old inventory so I can make new stuff. So eight pop, eight pop sockets, $5. They are all 3M. So they stick really well. And, you know, the uh, they sell them for $10 each, usually. So even if you did them at $5 each, you'd still be making a good amount of money. So if anybody's interested, there's that lot. The other lot I'm going to get offer is... Um, some keychains that I have left over. Yeah. Some of them are um, marijuana based because it is legal here. Um, I have this one. It's a green and gold. I have this one which is gold and white on one side and the purple, pink, and blues. 
I have this one, which is the star, basically the same colors. And then I have the tumbler. This is a smaller one. And then the last three are a bud vase. Uh-huh. That's what they call it. Another one. And the maple leaf. Because that's what they call it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven keychains, five dollars. Again, you guys can sell them on your eBay, your website, whatever you platform you use. Just trying to clear out some stock. So those are my two lots of that. And then my next item is going to be, I have two pendants here. They don't have chains or anything. This one is a heart. This part does lift up. Now this one hinge right here is off. So you can take it off completely. Just use the heart and use this on something else. And then I have this one. And we'll do these two for $5. So two pendants. One will heart. The other one, this one. Five dollars. So if you guys are interested in any of these, you can just put it in the chat. They will be here. And Lynn, that tray will be going out to you this week. So I hope you like it. Marion, you ready? Yes. Here I have go. three sets of Olympic pin backs. Um, this one is from 1992. There's five pins in this box. It's from the U.S. Olympic pin collection, J.C. Penny. Then I have one from 1998. That's from Anheuser-Busch, uh, official sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. It's a commemorative set. And they come in the boxes. And then this small set, I think this is, uh, I think it's 88 too. So it's uh, 13 pins, starting bid $10. Well, he did a number on my phone because now my phone I don't see any notifications will be silenced while phone is locked. There, you're not a good boy tonight. <laughs> you're disciplining your cat. <laughs> good luck. Yes. <laughs> okay. He hasn't been back up here. He knows I'm mad at him. Okay. Okay. And then this is this one. Lori, can you moderate this one? Yes, oh, I can. All right. Um, Lisa's measures was at ten. Ten dollars for Lisa. Good. Okay. I thought starting bit was thirteen, but that's okay. Melanie is at thirteen. Might have made a mistake. I thought she had thirteen. Lindsay at fifteen. It's just now coming up. Lindsay at fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna go after this. It's those two. Lisa's is 20. 20. 20. Melody's out. Lynn, do you want to come above 20? I'm holding him. Good, right in front of the camera, right? Yeah, right, you got that height right there is good. There you go. Yep. Lynn's at 22. 22. I hold him in front of my face and I can't see what's on the screen. 
Like the twenty two come to the center just a little bit more. This way. Other way. Other way. Other way. There you okay, go. Get it down a little bit. At the top of the very top of the rim of the Lisa's well, at twenty five. Leaves hmm. lid is out. I guess we will call it down to Lisa going once to Lisa at 25. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. $25. You're in luck. You have a $25, a $10 credit with me that you won a while ago. So it'll be less money. <laughs> I got to get these in the boxes. Okay. I have one more Olympic stuff. Yay. Jen Jennifer came back. Oh, good. Okay. So that, that relieves my Your mind. What did I do with this thing? Oh. So okay. Horizon should be able to come back too. So I have, uh, let's see. I'm going to make sure I got it all in my hand. I think there were one, two, there's one more. I'm going to find it. Oh, here it is. I got it. Okay. So these three, these are um, also pins, $3 starting bid on these. They're on these cards. They're Star Pins Collection, Barcelona Round 1992. I guess they're from the Barcelona Olympics. And uh, start at $3. Oh, and this is actually item number two. Oh, any check? I did. Any bids? I, I messed up here. Got all this stuff on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three dollars from Lynn. Three dollars from Lisa. Um, Lisa officially came in first on the StreamYard side, so Lisa's treasure is first. So, Lynn, do you want to come in four. at four? This is the last of my Olympic stuff tonight. Actually, I have some stamp collection, but I'm not going to get it out tonight from the from Olympics too. I have to put it together. But that came in different lot. Lisa came back in at five to Lynn's four. Lisa at six. These girls know their Olympic stuff. <laughs> Lisa came back in at seven. Lisa's at 10. 10 is out. Okay. 
Brad. Lisa at ten dollars. Any of the bids besides Lisa? If not, we'll start calling it going once to Lisa. Going twice. That's Paul. We are sold to Lisa's treasure for ten dollars. Congratulations. I got one more lot. This is cute. Hey. You guys are going to yeah, get it. Yeah, you do have one more lot because I put the wrong number on it. <laughs> okay. Item number three. Oops. I got the wrong item. Uh, can I get up a second? Get it? It's on the table. Yeah. You know okay. okay. I don't fall. I don't fall. No falling. Because <laughs> you put it here to pick me up. It's like an obstacle course. Here it is. Okay. So this is an interesting purse I got at this lot of jewelry. This is a purse with a nun on it. Okay. It has That's a zip purse. in the back. I guess so. I don't know what you put in here. So I'm 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 lotting it up with these, with the crosses. I have three beautiful crosses. Oh, that's cute. They're really pretty. I'm gonna start this lot at ten dollars because these are all beautiful crosses with stones. I've never seen a nun purse. <laughs> Everybody has to have a nun purse, right? <laughs> and this one has a. This is really pretty too. He's never been used or new. So three crosses and this cute little nun purse doll, I guess. Okay. Ten dollars. So cute. It has a zipper in the back. You can put your your little um what's the thing you put at lace on your head, you know, when you go to church? You're asking this Jewish person who doesn't know very much. <laughs> And <laughs> Laura, just strictly for that nun, can you moderate me, please? Yeah. No, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> but I knew, do know Saturday night is Passover. <laughs> I have never seen a nun person. Okay, Melanie's at 10. <laughs> do we have any further bids on the nun purse with the, the cross three is. crosses? The crosses go, are going to go inside the purse. There's some paper in here, too. I didn't even take it out. Maybe she had some money in here. Who knows? This woman that had it, she was a hoarder. I just find that funny. Hey, uh, <laughs> that, that is hilarious, because, yeah. Hello, okay. Arian. Welcome to the show. We can sell these beautiful crosses. Any other Anybody gear? else interested in the nun purse? With three crosses. If not, we will call it down to Melanie. It's a conversation piece. Going once, it's definitely a conversation piece. Going twice. I'm in the middle of Jesus country, so <laughs> that stuff really goes here. <laughs> Last call. Fair warning. Oh, here's Aaron just got here. Sold. He missed all the good stuff. Okay. Thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you. Thank For you. $10. Oh, thank you so much. $10. <laughs> you know what they say goes fired by people who say bless you in Texas. Or no, bless your heart. Yeah, bless your heart. I, I learned that the painful way. <laughs> you did? All right, so the first thing I'm going to show, I have a set of uh, cookbooks. Item number one. Doing cookbooks. Um, let me start this off at $7. These are old cookbooks. So the first one you're going to get is the Grange Cookbook Casseroles. Then you're going to get St. Mary's Parish Cookbook. And this one's from St. Peter's Church. It is from 1976. So this is a 1976 cookbook. This one is, these are all old. They're old books. 
This one is a 1969 cookbook. This one, I don't know what year it is, but it's the Betty Crocker of cookbooks for boys and girls. The only thing it's missing is the first cover and a couple of pages. But it's all recipes for kids to try. It's from the Betty Crocker collection. That one's old, too. You're going to get the North Carolina Market Basket Nutrition Farmer's Market Cookbook. No microwave, then. These are all your original. Uh, I'll check on the St. Peter's Church. Give me one second. This one is from, it doesn't say what the date is. Don't know on this. The St. Peter's one is from, okay. it's from Kansas City, Missouri. It's um, St. Peter's, St. Mary's, and the Queen Rosary Catholic Churches. In Kansas, 1976. So, I don't know if this is... So it's three churches in one. St. Mary, St. Peter's, and Queen of the Rosary. Don't take it to church. <laughs> and then the final one you're going to get is the Betty Crocker Easy Guide to Entertaining. This one is old, too. This one's from, let's see what date. 1959. So you'll get the 1959, 1969, 1976, old vintage cookbook starting at $7 for all of them. Any bids or interest in the cookbook lot? If there's no interest, we could go on to the next item. But I know some people like old books. Old books. If there's no interest, oh, nope, Blandine's in at $7. Thank you, Blandine. Any other bids besides Blandine? So the 1959 is all butter and sugar, pretty much. Um, in fact, Hello, I Kurt, it says, her. look at that, first edition, first printing. So that probably alone is a good book. But yeah, it's all kinds of butter and fattening and who knows, lard, whatever they cook with. But it has cute little drawings and stuff like that. But it's easy, entertaining, how to have guests and enjoy them. Any other bids besides $7? If not, we will definitely say this is going to uh, Blandine. We'll say going once. Going once to Blandine. Going twice. Blandy, congratulations. It's sold to you for $7. I can't type today. Sold for $7 to Blandy. So she's getting the books. The books. Okay, next item I'm going to show is I have, and I'm going to start these off. At twelve dollars, gonna do bunny lot figurines. Twelve dollars starting bid. Twelve dollars. Okay, this is an adorable lot. You're gonna get four figurines, but they are from the My Blushing Bunny collection, and these are winter bunny style. So you'll get the first one, which is a little bunny with a little uh, gift sleigh. From the My Bullshit Bunnies, 1996 in Esco. So you get figure number one. Figure number two is a cute little ice skating little bunny rabbit with the earmuffs. My Blushing Bunnies. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Each of the, these are labeled and numbered. This one is uh, Friendship Puts a Smile on My Face. It is, look at that, little cute bunny doing a... Um, Snowman with a little bird on the head. And then the fourth one is another little girl bunny ice skating. So you'll get four figurines. One, two, three, and then the fourth one. I can't hold all of them at once. Any bids on the bunny lot figurines, you'll get all four at $12 starting bid. If not, we'll pull the next item. The cute little bunnies. Okay. 
But then the last set I'm, I'm going to show is I have more clown figuring. Oh, we have Horizon Picks in. Welcome back, Horizon Picks. I'm glad you're able to get back. Any other bids besides Horizon Picks for the four bunnies? And like I said, it's My Blushing Bunnies is the name of the company. Sorry, Horizon. My cat decided to block a couple of you. Well, not block you, time you out. So sorry. Going once, going twice. We're glad that you back, you're back, Horizon Picks. We're going to say sold to HP. And of course, anything that wasn't sold, you could still always purchase. Just contact any one of the sellers. And that is HP for the bunnies for $12. Okay, hello, hello Penny, Day. Penny Day. Welcome to the show. And then my last slot is going to be a clown figurine. And we're going to do both of these for, yeah, we'll do them $3 starting bid for two. Okay, so we got two clown figurines. We're going to do $3 for both of them. We got this cute little clown with a uh, guitar, mandolin. Oh, uh, yeah, probably mandolin. And then another. Cute little clown. So they're both playing their little musical instruments. There's no marks with the exception of this one says made in China. Um, selling both of them for $3. Starting bid. No cracks, no chips, no crazing. Just cute little clowns. Any, and I wrote cloud. I don't know why I wrote cloud. Clown, no. with an N. <laughs> I put clown. They're clowns. Any other bid, any bids for the clown figurines? We get both of them. If not, then we will go to Laura. Okay. This will be our last round. And we're going to call it for the night. I have this little Elizabeth Arden bag here. It uh, opens up like that. It's like a, I don't know if you want to use it as like a clutch or makeup bag. Do $3 on this one. Very clean. Doesn't look like it's been used. Still folded like it would be in plastic. But no plastic. So $3 on that one. Then my second item, this is one of my pendants, my handmade resin pendants. This is a chakra pendant. It is purples and pinks. This is going to be $5. That is gold around where the embossing is. So there's this one, and then the last one I have, $5, this is a heart. It has actual dried flowers in it. It is blue, it's showing up pale, but it is a greenish blue. And that one is also $5. And then the last choice is this, it's more of a galaxy type. And that is a black background, white on the back. And this one is also five. So your choice on the resin pendants If there is no interest, we can move on. Marion, are you ready? Last round. Yeah, I have two belts. This gold mesh belt, new condition. It's 31 inches long. And you can adjust the, what, the size. And then the other belt is really interesting. 
I don't know if it's handmade. It, it feels like woven. At first I thought it was straw, but it's got a coating on it. So I'm not sure it's handmade. Maybe it's from Mexico. It's 37 inches long. So you hook it. It has a hook here so you can hook it and wear it with it hanging down. But it's really beautiful. Um, probably really neat on jeans, with jeans. And I'm selling starting bid $5 for these two neat items. The belt is, just, this one is really unusual. Perfect condition, never used. And look at the buckle part. Very, very nice. Starting bid $5 for the two belts. Thirty-seven inches long. And well, this is the other one. Two bits. Five dollars for both bid belts. Starting bid. Do we have any interest in the two belts for five dollars? <coughs> Looks like second one is raffia. I know it. It has some kind of coating on it, and it's like a little bit stiff. I don't know. I think so. It does kind of look like raffia. Yeah. It. It looks like it's handcrafted. There's no kind of tags or anything. I can't see anything markings on it. Any interest? If not, I'll move on to something else. Okay. Got a bag of small earrings here. There's, um, I'll tell you how many pair. Oops. I'm gonna sell it for the bag. There's um, these. They're kind of dangly black, black and gold. I don't have any backings, Andy. That's one pair. Um, there's some hoops, they're all pierced. Black hoops, two pair. Um, there's a, a very small bracelet that goes with those gold and black, three pieces. And another small pair of earrings, four pieces for $4. Four dollars each, four dollars. They're all new. I don't know why these don't have any pushbacks on them, but they don't. They're cute, black and gold. Four pieces, four dollars. I think I have another little pair of gold. You've got Love Hollison for four dollars? Okay. Any other bids besides Love Hollis? Four sets of earrings, black and gold. If not, we'll say going once to Love Hollis. Who's this one? Going twice. Press and pull. We are going to say sold to Love Hollis for $4. Thank you, love. Okay. Okay, one more small lot here, a little trinket lot. Got to, let's see, I got a blue, blue shoe box. It's a, I mean, it's one of those little trinket boxes. Never can get it open, I don't know what I, oh, here it is. This is a, it's a boot. Oh, that's cute. 
That's one item. Oops. She said, I better put it on the side. I got a red shoe. Go with it. Another. Two. Oh, that little high heeled shoe. Yeah, a little red shoe. Cute. That's two. And then I have um, this. I don't know what you use it for. It looks like a mannequin. I guess it's just a place of decor. It feels like it's a stone. Yeah, it's hard. It's like some kind of quartz or something. Huh. The three pieces. Oh, I'm going to add one more piece, this elephant. A beautiful elephant. $5 for this lot starting. Bid. So you get a boot, get a shoe, a mannequin, and an elephant, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. $5. Okay. Five dollars for the boot, the shoe, the mannequin, and the elephant. Yeah, that's a buy. Elephant a lot. So you can wear this yeah. elephant as a as a place for a chain if you want to. P that'd be a big pendant. P and B yeah. is in it five. It's heavy. Current P and B is in it five for the lot. Kurt said it's six. Who's in it six? Kurt is in it six. Oh. oh. Hi, Kurt. Welcome. He's in it seven. Kurt is in at eight. Oh, P and B says I don't want the shoes. What does Kurt want? <laughs> Kurt, did you are were you looking for the shoes? Because it sounds like P and B's willing to split a lot with you. Eight. <laughs> they both don't want the shoes. <laughs> Pay a big set. Nine. Okay. Nobody wants the shoes. Okay. Well, then you guys are bidding <laughs> on the same thing. So I'll just sell these two. And I'll <coughs> put them with something else if they don't want them. If they want them, they can have it with. Kurt's in at 10, all in. He says 10, all in. Okay. Kurt, did you get those? Uh, slide reels. P and B's at eleven. <laughs> Kurt is uh, out. So I guess we're going to call it down to P and B at eleven. Any other bids? Send me your information. Going once. I'm not sure if I sent you something or not. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to P and B for eleven dollars. Does she want the lady to wear the shoes or not? If uh, if you guys have bought from any of them, all of us have our emails down there. Just email us if we've never sold to you before. Yeah. Okay, let's we'll see. What did I Love sell? Love it. P and B. And give what? the shoes to a collector. Love okay. Hollis will take the treat okay. box boot for three. Okay, let me, I got to write this down, guys. I already have to ask you on another one. So I, I have eleven dollars for the two things. Eleven dollars for the two. P and B and then P and B got the two items, the elephant and the okay. and then Love Hollis wants to know she can have the boot for three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll give her that little red shoe too. Okay. So love you getting both shoes for three dollars. Okay. Okay. All right. Was that your third? 
I think so. Do you have one more? That was three. Yeah. That was three. Okay. Melody, you ready? Okay. Item number one I'm showing is a drum. Let's start this off at five dollars. It is a classic drum. Um, it does have a leathery string portion on this. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is actual animal skin or not, but it's a very old drum. There's some stains on it over here, but this part is all wood. So it's wood, leather, and then it may or may not be animal skin on this part. I don't know. But I figure it's an old drum. It's, it was in a collector's house. So I don't know what year it is, but it's probably going to be very, very old. If anybody's interested, in selling a drum for $5. Are you going to bang on your drum all day? <laughs> you get bored. Just dun, 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 dun. Her Jay, are you being serious? Oh, what if they fit you? That's what she's talking about. Oh, yeah. Wait. Tiny little feet. <laughs> any, interest, any interest in the drum? If there's no interest in the drum, then I have item number two, Sagittarius Bear. I'm going to start him off at $5 as well. All you Zodiac lovers, this is a Sagittarius Bear. It is from the Nisbet Bear Collection, House of Nisbet. There's no maker's mark on the drum at all. So that's why I don't even know what it is. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. The yep, the archer. And it's a Nibbit Bear, House of Nisbet. Very high end oh. bear. Has his little, but I think, I think oh. he's missing his arrow. He has his bow. He has the arrow, but there's no arrows in here. Um, he does have his original tag, which if you want to see the price, was 70, then it was marked down to 35. 70? And then he, oh, 70. Uh, That's why I said Nisbet bears are quite expensive. Um, Paul is at five. My first official, cool. Yay! Good luck. Good luck, Carol. You'll have fun on auctions. They become addicting once you get started on it. Yeah. So it's a very cute, clean bear. It has his tags on it. And this is an incredible deal for the bear. Any other bids besides Paula for the Nisbet bear? Got a piece of tape on him. There we go. If not, we'll call it to Paula going once for five dollars. That is a great deal. Going twice. We are sold to Paula. Sold to Paula for five dollars. Thank you so much, Paula. And then my last and final item I have is I have this cute little tiny honey bear. We're going to sell him for $5 as well. I got to put that in the bid. Honey bear. $5 starting bid. And what it is, is it's a ceramic little bear made in Taiwan, has the little bee on it. His head comes off. He is missing his little uh, honey scooper. However, if you get your honey scooper, you could put it in. I don't know why I'm slowing down, but I'm sorry it's slowing down a little bit on my end. Yeah, you're pixelating a little bit. But yeah, can you hear me clearly though? Or I can hear you clearly. It's just the picture that's okay. This was happening with Marion earlier. Yeah. I don't know if it's an issue. Any interest in the bear? We have pull it in for five dollars. We all need a honey scooper. <laughs> Paula is getting the Sagittarius Bear for five. Any other bids? If not, we're going to say going once to Paula for five. Going twice. Last call. 
Congratulations, Paula. Five dollars, <laughs> you win. And we're going to you, Laura. Okay, I just have one thing here. Uh, then I'll bring us all back up, and I have a couple of announcements. Um, I make guitar picks also. These are not made out of resin. They're made out of a regular pick material. You can use them for crafting. You can make jewelry out of them. You can use them to play your guitar. I do uh, 15 or five dollars if anybody's interested if you want them for crafting let me know so i can make sure you have at least two or three of the same if you want to make earrings and necklace or whatever but so i have that i will bring everybody back up friday night we will have two guests we will have kim and that's uh about to get real and Tania, which is Hemlock Lady, they will be on Friday night. Melanie may or may not be here. I'm or probably hopefully. not going to be here. Um, just a quick question Did you say 50 or 15 for the car guitar picks? No, 15 for five dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let me rewrite that. 15 guitar picks for five dollars. Okay, 15. Okay, that's what it is. Let me erase that and move that. <laughs> okay. So Friday night we will have yeah, I will, and I will not be here Friday, so it'll be the four of you, which is very exciting. And they'll yeah. still be on your channel anyway, so Yeah, well we'll still be here right here on my channel. One of these days I'll learn it. I'm working on it. We'll get you <laughs> to do it, Marion. We'll get you there. We'll yeah, get you there. Get you home <laughs> and uh, the other thing is, don't leave yet. I want to show you guys because some of you didn't see it. I want to know what you guys think of this intro. And uh, just hang on. I'm going to show it real quick and we'll be right back. I like that. That's okay. Awesome. That is the intro that I did for my channel, and uh, I'm going to make one for our group. I just didn't get to it yet. Um, anybody else have any other announcements? Um, I will be on. Um, I normally do Angie's show, but Angie's not going to make it this week, so I'm going to be doing a show on my channel for Thursday, and that'll be at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And then I'm going to be doing a show on Saturday on my channel, which would be same time, 6 p.m. Eastern. But I will not be able to be here on Friday. I'm sorry. Yes, Chandra, I will be. And go have some fun. And nobody is blocked. Is she a news commentator? She's a mod for the news. A mod for the news? Yep. Kimby um, wants to know how much are the dominoes. And those are handmade dominoes that you make. Um, normally, those handmade dominoes are forty-five dollars a set. But I think if you go on my website, I will I be selling. Discount on there. I'll be selling but, with Melanie Thursday, but I'm yes, be late. Yeah, and we I'll be here on Friday too. Melanie's channel on Thursday, and then back here on Friday. And I might have some new. More new inventory, but I got a lot of inventory. <laughs> if anybody would see my house, <laughs> so yeah, much. PMB, if you just email me and you want certain colors or whatever, I I think my website is has a sale for thirty five. So yeah, I'll do them for thirty five if you want a set of dominoes. She wants to know how many pieces in a set. Uh, it's a it's a double six set, so it's twenty. 
eight dominoes. And they're all resin. They're thick like the old style Bakelite dominoes. Um, I had that mold specially made, so they were a little more substantial than the really thin ones that people do. And uh, the uh, pips are all hand painted. So just let me know. Um, and again, you can pick colors. Uh, you can email me, P and B, and we'll you know we'll work it out. Hey. And anybody else have anything else? No? no. So we'll see you on Thursday on Melody's channel. Back here on Friday. We will have Kim and Tania on here. It's about to get real. And the Hemlock Lady, if you guys don't know their real names. And uh, have a nice evening, guys. And thank you all for supporting us. Thank and you. I can't walk to a couple of you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks so much.